Sharpen. Masters of Surgical Education. This is Samuel George and this is a video on how to design a rhomboid flap. The two common types of rhomboid flap are a Limburg flap and a Dufour mental flap. This video will concentrate on how to design a Limburg rhomboid flap. To design a rhomboid flap, you first need a defect. And this is a defect on the side of a face, as you can see from the background diagram. And the temple area is a very common area that we might perform a rhomboid flap. The first thing you do is design a rhomboid around your defect. And now a rhomboid has four equal sides, but the degrees between the two opposing edges are 120 degrees and the opposite corners are 60 degrees. What you do after this is to extrapolate a line going down from the 120 degree corner. And this line will be the same length as all sides of your rhomboid. Then you draw a parallel line parallel to one of the sides of your rhomboids, also the equal length to all sides of your rhomboid. All these lengths would be the same length or distance between the two corners of the 120 degree angle. Using this, you can actually come up with four different parallel lines where you could choose flaps from. Now, your decision making process when choosing one of these four flaps would be where the skin laxity is, as the donor will need to be closed directly. So you need to have skin laxity where you choose your flap from. The second thing to think about is dependence. Now, dependence is where your base of your flap is superior and your flap is pointing downwards or inferiorly, what will happen then is your flap will get congested and pincushion, and this is called dependence, and we try to avoid it where possible. The third thing to think about is structures, so you don't want to cause any traction or deformity to any nearby structure like the eye where you pull the eyelid causing an ectropion, for instance. Once you have these four flaps, A, B, C, and D, you choose one and you transpose it into the defect. If we were to choose flap A, this is the scar that we would end up with. And this, as you can see, would not be dependent. The donor would close directly and it would not cause any tension on any nearby structures. And that's how you perform a rhomboid flap. Thank you. Sharpen. Masters of Surgical Education.